Hi everyone, so I want to talk to you today about if you're feeling really poorly, yet your blood tests have come back clear. It's something that a lot of us do experience. It's getting more and more common actually. Um, so you're feeling tired, you may feel sick, your joints are hurting, you're fatigued, you're in pain, you may have headaches, been to the doctor, you've had a blood test, he's rang you up and said, it's all clear. But what does actually all clear mean? Because in a world where it's getting sicker and sicker, the, the lab references are getting wider and wider. So I'm going to tell you an example. Um, someone on our group um, was feeling unwell, had a blood test, it came back normal. Um, so ferritin in a woman should be something like uh, 15 over 150. And she was told it was normal, she was absolutely fine. And she was thinking, no, I don't feel fine. She obviously knew her own body. She rang up the doctor and asked for a copy of her results. But she was 16. So she was just inside the range and then requested that she was helped or medicated to, to help that situation. So even if you are at the very ends of the... Of the um, what we're supposed to be you actually might not be you may need treating even though the doctor has just rang you up and told you that you're clear so and also vitamin d isn't tested um in a regular blood test you have to request it and um, which can make you feel really poorly if you are struggling with um, vitamin d deficiency so what do we do you know it actually makes you feel really bad when, you, when you're feeling so ill and then you get a clear result or everything's normal. And sometimes you can actually hope that it comes back saying that you're not normal just so we have something um, to reference or, or know why we're poorly, why we're feeling this way. It, more like validation, really, because obviously with fibromyalgia, a lot of people don't believe that it's real. And if you have a blood test and it comes back that something is wrong, then it, then you're validated for feeling that way. But often they don't come back that there's something wrong. They come back that they're clear, which again makes us feel a little bit lost, make, makes us feel scared that we're feeling this way. Yet there's no actual reason for it. But you could ask for a copy of your results, your test results, and do your own investigations. Um, you know, it worked for the lady on the group. She was entitled to treatment, yet the doctor tried to fob her off, which we all know about being fobbed off by the doctor. Um, so do, do that. If you're having a blood test and you know there's something wrong, yet your doctor told you it's normal, request your results and have a look for yourself. Do the research. Um, I do understand that when you've had your blood taken or you've gone for a, an x-ray or an MRI, you can want something to show up. Not because you want to be poorlier, or, um, but, but that you just want validation for feeling this way. But fibromyalgia is actually enough. It, you are really, really poorly with fibromyalgia. Um, and we, there's a hu huge community that know that fibromyalgia is real. A lot of doctors, the NHS know it's real. Parliament knows it's real. There's just those awful people that just don't believe in it and, and feel like they have to let us know. But believe in yourself. You know that there's something wrong and fight for yourself. That's all you can do. Thank you. If you have a comment, please leave it. Thank you. Bye.